All right, welcome back. I'm on the box editor. I have a very, very special unboxing to do today. I'm super stoked to show you. And once you're done watching this video, I encourage you to go purchase you one of these. Um, due to the packages being so large, and I'm pretty sure each item is probably individually wrapped, and there's about five, I think, I'm trying to think in my head, six items. Uh, two boxes all the way from the UK. And let's get into this bad boy. We're gonna cut this and I'm gonna go over to my airbrush station where all the lights are and I will show you each individual piece and then I will show you what it looks like assembled and then I'll give you information on where you can get yours at. But, let's get into this. All right, as you see, we're over at my airbrush paint station. Y'all all know that I am getting into 3D printing. Um, these pieces that I'm fixing to show you are the old way of doing things. Um, the artist is informed me that he sculpted these, he siliconed, and he casted these out of resin. So these were not a 3D printed item. Uh, these items I got from PDH Designs. He's based out of the UK. Uh, so the exchange rate when you purchase these are going to be lower but it's going to cost more in usd we'll go over the pricing here in a little bit but anyway i want to show you each individual item and then i want to show you it together now if you all know and you're a follower of me on facebook and youtube you know that i'm a huge robocop fan one and two that's the only two that uh was the best out of the whole series um you all know that i'm a huge robocop fan and this is obviously going to be robocop related but uh, I want to show you each individual part. So this right here is the base. If you look closely, the detail on it, you can see that it even has 20, 22 millimeter. Um, this is resin, well painted. The uh, Pete's um, work is phenomenal. His, his paint is unreal. You're looking at probably three to four different colors just on this itself. Uh, the, amazing. I know this is probably just, oh, look, it's just some uh, base. Get into it, Audie. But uh, I just want to show you the detail of this. So that's your base. That's going to hold up the rest of the head. And then we'll go to the next item. It's going to be the mouth of Peter Weller or Alex Murphy. And this is a casted resin. Uh, I, I can't believe this guy's work. It's unreal. And it looks just like freaking Alex Murphy's mouth. Pretty cool. All right, the next item will be the basically the bottom base of the head itself of Robocop. You can tell uh, the detail on here is phenomenal once again. The little tiny screws is the, the it's the detail for me. Um, and the paint, as the light hits it, it's a blue and it has like a like a plum or like a purple hue to it. Amazing. There's the chin strap. Look at that. Anyway, this will set sit up there on the base like so. And then I've already showed you the mouth, so let's get the mouth on there. And this is made to snap right in there like so. This is what it looks like with half. Now, I went all out. I bought all three tops. Um, I, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed the original top, and I will show you. We'll do the original first, and what I mean by original, the undamaged one. But I bought all three just because I'm, I'm weird like that, and, and I, I can't. I could not go without having all three. But this is the top of Robocop, uh, Robocop's head. This thing is huge. I'll show you at the end of the video. This thing even fits me. Look at the detail again, the paint, how the light hits it, it changes to the purple hue, just like in the movie. And that is the inside. OCP Police 1, meaning that's only one Robocop, or the first model. But uh, let's let's uh, let's get this on there so I can show you what it looks like, and I want to show you the other helmet as well. And it slides on there, fits on there perfectly, like so. And that's what it looks like all together. 
and I will do a little quick just kind of go over it look at that and that wild look at the detail on that it's like life-size replica of Robocop's head this thing is huge look at my hand compared to this thing I could I could wear this thing but it's not over. Like I said, I bought all three. Now the third one is getting made because I, I purchased that one uh, actually today. Um, and that one's getting casted and molded and painted for me and will be sent uh, later on. Now mind you, uh, it did not take him long to do this. I believe it was like a two, two week, two and a half week turnaround for him to get the work, the paint, the sand, the mold. Uh, what took so long for me was that my package was stuck in customs for almost three weeks, um, which was a real pain in the butt. Customs, um, since COVID, has been uh, trifling. But uh, yeah, so the turnaround was really quick. He's very trusted. Uh, the customer service is very responsive. Uh, I highly trust Pete over at PDH Designs. But anyway, this is part of the damaged helmet, which is called the Ed. 209 damaged helmet and you can look at the detail it's Alex Murphy his eyeball and this is this is metal and I will show you in just a second what this is for and then here is the Ed 209 damaged helmet look at that the freaking detail on this is unreal again the blue hue OCP and here is what the inside looks like there is the magnet so the way this thing works is you'll put it there it'll snap in push it all the way forward and then hopefully my camera can pick that up look at that and that freaking neat and this slides right on there like so and that is the ed 209 damaged helmet like I said, I ordered all three. The third helmet is a RoboCop 2. It's Kane. It's where uh, Kane took his like torch or his his electric torch cutter uh, on the side of RoboCop's helmet, and it made like a Z, and it burnt, uh, cut like a weld in it, or, or I can't explain it. But I'll flash a picture up here. Uh, probably I probably will do a video on that one just for the simple fact I want everybody to see what it looks like all fully assembled. But this is the Ed 209 damaged top helmet. Like I said, I bought all three. Uh, and when I say all three, I mean I just bought the the tops itself. For the actual the actual normal helmet, not the damaged one. Uh, I believe I paid uh, three hundred dollars. Now it was. It was due to the currency, the exchange rate between um, UK and the United States. It was uh, I can't remember if it was two two forty six. Uh, I, I can't remember. I just know that it costed three hundred USD just for this one right here, if I'm not mistaken. But that's something you can do and reach out to Pete over at PDH Designs. Look at him up on Facebook. Um, send him a message if you are interested in this. Uh, highly trusted individual. He gets his work done quick, fast, and he updates you as the pro progress goes. I've had no trouble out of Pete. Um, and, and, and I could be off on the price a little bit. I just know that I paid a lot to buy all three in the full helmet. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, I, I believe it was $250 USD plus $50 shipping. And I could be wrong about that. Don't quote me on it. But that's something you can discuss it with Pete. But there you go. That is what it looks like fully assembled. There's the damaged one. These things are freaking huge. And I'm about to cut and end this video. And I will show you what this thing looks like on me. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for my RoboCop life-size head bust. Um, go check out PDH Designs on Facebook. Shoot Pete a message. He will square you away on price points and what he'll charge you. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, if I'm not mistaken, I believe I paid $300 just for the regular head itself. Uh, I know the damaged one that's over there costs a little bit more, but uh, reach, out to, reach out to Pete. Leave a comment below if you want me to kind of be the middleman and I can direct you in his direction. Um, 
Oh yeah, I wanted to show you all this. Look, look at this. This is how big this thing is. Look at that. It's life size. Pretty neat, huh? Well designed. Pete, you killed it on, on the paint. Um, the noise that you hear over here is my printing machine. I actually print the Robocop Auto 9, uh, I believe it's Auto Loader 9, from the movie. It is huge, it is movie accurate as far as size wise. Now it doesn't shoot, it ain't a full functioning gun, it's for display only. Or if you want to send it off to ever get signed by Peter Weller, sign here, do a quote here. Uh, if you're interested in this, I will be selling these. Now, I encourage you to go over to Facebook and message me on the Audie Marsh Productions page if you're interested in one of these. Just for the simple fact that I know if you comment on YouTube, YouTube deletes uh, comments a lot. And they don't even have to be negative. And I will never see them. So I encourage you, if you are interested in one of these, head over to Facebook, go like my page, Audie Marsh Productions, and I will set you up with a price point on, on, on these as well. Go like and follow PDH Designs. Pete, if you're watching this, awesome job dude that's all i have leave a comment below let me know what you think give me a thumbs up or down don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'm audie marsh and i'm out of here